All right, time for the weekend download. Uh, this morning we're talking about keeping your heart healthy. healthy. And joining us this morning is our chief health correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashton, who's joining us from uh, my hometown of Newton, Massachusetts, which warms my particular heart. So, Jen, this is uh, Go Red for Women Month with a focus yep. on heart disease and prevention, especially for women. What do people need to know about this that they may not know? Well, you're right, and by the way, I expect to see you in a red tie on Friday, which is Wear Red Day, this coming Friday the 7th. I think, first of all, we have to remember that for men and women, as you said, it is the number one killer. In women, it appears to almost be a different disease. Women can have different signs and symptoms of a heart attack compared to men, and certain OBGYN issues that they may have experienced decades before, like diabetes during pregnancy or something called PCOS, are actual risk factors for women women and future heart disease. So it, it's really important. It's not just a one size fits all. Now the, these are in many cases preventable conditions. So what can what are the key right. steps in prevention? Well Dan, you also know that I am a nutritionist, so let's just start with food. Um, food can be helpful or it can be hurtful. And on this Super Bowl weekend, when people do a lot of Super Bowl eating, um, the American Heart Association has an amazing heart-healthy recipe that really caught my attention if people go to heart.org. It's basically a vegan apple nacho dish. But I think the key is in terms of diet, most people want to restrict their sodium intake to no more than 1,500 milligrams a day. They want to watch their saturated fat intake to no more than about 5% of their overall diet, and they do want to get healthy fats, so olive oil, nuts, avocado. I'm already uh, marinating my tofurkey for the Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, aside Good. from diet, what are the tips people may not consider? Well, I say it's the three S's, Dan. Most people have heard of controlling cholesterol and blood pressure, but the three S's, social connectivity, sleep, and stress, all, if not addressed, can increase inflammation, and that's bad for your heart, too. Those are huge tips. Jen, thank you so much. Great to see you on you a bet, Saturday Jen. morning. We really appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.